Well, good afternoon, everyone. For us, the weather is extremely quiet tonight uh, with the clear skies and the dry air. Temperatures going to drop pretty dramatically. In fact, we'll get down to about 38 here in the city and the western areas out toward maybe Old Kennedy and Carnes County. Uh, they'll be looking at upper 30s as well. Down near the coast, it won't be quite as chilly because of the humid water, uh, but the country has got two storms, one on each side. This one bringing the first big snowstorm of the season right about there to much of the northeastern states. But this one is the one that's going to go down in the record books. This uh, low that we talked about yesterday, uh, it, they call it a bomb genesis. In other words, it's, a, it's an area of low pressure that drops so fast within 24 hours as to get winds circulating like a hurricane at 75 miles an hour. So this is a monstrous storm. And of course, being up so close to the Arctic, it pulls down that cold air and it drops right in. And then you get this kind of situation where you get uh, training rain. In other words, rain over rain over the same area over and over and over and over. And uh, they're going to have all kinds of problems uh, on the West Coast. For us, there you go, 38 for us, uh, 42 in Houston, 42 in San Antonio, obviously the cities. Um, with all the concrete and all the asphalt, they retain some of the daytime heat. We don't have as much, therefore we're going to lose more heat. So it's going to be chilly. Um, I don't know if your furnace went on this morning, but probably you'll have to have it today. And now tomorrow, still another beautiful day, lots of sunshine, very comfortable temperatures getting up into the mid 70s. And even North Texas will be in the 70s as high temperatures as well. We're going to be this uh, going to be about three nights of chilly weather at night. By the time we get to Monday, Tuesday, things sort of turn around and we'll start warming up a little bit. Let's take a look at uh, this is future tracker. In other words, this is going into the future and notice San Francisco rain and then rain and then more rain and then more, more, more. And look at that it is a monstrous storm that is eventually going to get all the way down to about Los Angeles. Now, the question is, will that come to us? The answer is yes. However, Nothing like that kind of storm. It's going to get broken up in the Rockies and then uh, the um, upper winds aren't going to let it dive down into our area, but we are going to get strafed by it. And that's, believe it or not, on Thanksgiving on Thursday of next week. So uh, again, we talked about, oh, this is the future rain. In other words, how much rain will they get? They're looking at 12 to 18 inches, uh, maybe one or two feet of rain. Now, of course, a lot of that will hold up in the mountains as a snowpack, and that's good too, but uh, they're going to have trouble up there uh, with that activity. So for you and me, we're looking for a rather clear and cold night, getting down to about 38 degrees in the city. And then uh, your seven-day forecast, look at that, 73 tomorrow, and then 42, and then 77 then 48, then, then by the time we get to the weekend, we'll be back into the 80s. So just about three nights of chilly weather, and then we moderate a little bit. Now, beginning on Tuesday and Wednesday, we've had that tail end of that front. That's why that by the time we get to Thanksgiving, it's going to be cloudy and cooler with a little bit of rain expected, but that's perfect for the holiday season. That's your seven-day forecast.